Hey everyone, I've had a lot of pieces of Syncro 40 showing interest in integrating the data with dedicated tools like Power BI for a deeper visibility and insight on their project progress using some of the advanced data analytics. Even though there are a few tools within Syncro 40 like the S-curve or resource utilization, it does not come remotely close to the power and flexibility provided by Power BI. In this video, I'll be focusing on how we can establish this integration, especially taking advantage of the interoperability Syncro 4D has with Microsoft Excel. I have a sample project set up here with a few resource statuses recorded for the concrete foundations. Using resource status color mode for the 3D view, we can see different statuses based on the focus time. I can actually select one of these elements, go to the resource properties, status tab, and see the timestamp history for the different statuses. Our intention is to use this data and track the concrete production using easy to read visuals in Power BI. If I go to File, Export, I can see the option to export to MS Excel. I will select a folder to save the file to. Click Next. On this menu, I have the flexibility to only export the data I actually need and skip the others. I need resource statuses, and for additional data, I will select both resource and task options as well. All this will help me to create visuals to track plan versus actual concrete production. I can save these settings to be reused in subsequent exports. Now, before exporting the Excel spreadsheet, one thing you have to keep in mind is that only the essential data for each of these items are exported in individual sheets. For example, for task, it will export the task IDs, name, duration, start, and finish dates, and that's all. If you wanted any additional data like user fields, percent complete, actuals, and so on, you will have to first enable those columns and then export to Excel. In addition to resource status dates, I also want the volume of the concrete assigned to the resources as well as the tasks so that I can quantify it in my Power BI visual. For that, I will go to the resource window, right click on the header, customize column, and select the volume user field. I will do the same for the task as well, where the volume field actually sums up the volume of all the resources assigned to that particular task. To keep the data updated with the latest changes in Power BI, you will actually have to manually export the Excel spreadsheet periodically. You may be working with a very different set of columns and filters, and enabling the specific columns you need for the export can be time consuming. To streamline the process, we can use the layout functionality, which can be found under Navigator ribbon. A layout saves the current state of your tables for all the entities, including tasks and resources. It includes the column visibility, filters, conditional formatting, etc. So every time before exporting the Excel spreadsheet, you can open one of these layouts and simply export. Now I'm finally ready to export our data. So we'll go to File, Export, Excel. Use the settings we saved previously. Click Next and Export. Upon opening the Excel spreadsheet, you can see all the different data organized neatly into separate sheets. One thing I would recommend doing is keeping the spreadsheet in an online cloud location like OneDrive or Dropbox. I already have this file uploaded, so I can get the exact location if I go to File, Info, and click on Copy Path. I'll show you shortly how this could be really useful in Power BI. Jumping out to Power BI, I can click on Get Data and select Excel as a connector. However, since I have this spreadsheet on the cloud, I can go to Other and click on Web. Paste the location of the spreadsheet here and make sure to remove all the characters after .xls. If your connection is successful, you will see all the sheets and a preview of the data from the Excel spreadsheet here. 
Now, the reason I'm using a web connector instead of Excel is that when you re-export any updated data from Synchro 4D and overwrite the Excel spreadsheet, the published Power BI report and dashboard will automatically update and thus presenting you with the latest and the greatest data. This is by no means a tutorial on working within Power BI, but more of a quick guide in getting started. As you can see, it's a matter of dragging different fields into a visual to display the relative data as needed. What I'm trying to achieve here is creating a graph using the resource status data with the x-axis as the status date and plot the volume of concrete placed on the y-axis. Having the relationship between the two tables allows me to create a measure to get the cumulative volume of all the concrete resources having the status as placed. Just using the data I imported in this exercise, I'm able to create some really informative reports like this one.